Hey guys, my name is Michael Withrow. I'm the 4-H agent here in Berkeley County. Uh, myself and Linda Kisner oversee all of the indoor projects. Uh, we're really excited this year. We have nearly 400 exhibits inside the exhibit hall. Um, a lot of people ask what all is contained inside the indoor projects. We have everything from animal science to cooking to woodworking. Um, we have a lot of leadership projects, career development, um, and even a, we have a nice selection of self-determined projects this year. Um, and what self-determined covers is anything that is not covered by one of our 4-H projects. Um, and a student is interested or a member is interested, they can sign up for self-determined and they truly can do their project on anything that they're passionate about. Uh, we really encourage our kids to kind of find their passion in their 4-H book, so it's always really nice to see them sign up for a variety of different projects to bring each year. Uh, we have some kids that they just do one indoor project and then they join the livestock realm of the fair, um, but we do have a large number of members that take at least one fair project indoors. Um, but we also have a lot that can't have livestock, so they usually sign up for four to five. Um, we've had as many as 12 projects for one person, uh, but it's really awesome to see the variety that we get. Um, we have some kids that will usually finish the nine years that are in the 4-H project books, um, and they're still interested in that subject. Um, and we do allow them to continue their studies in self-determined. Um, one that that happens most often in, we have a large number that take self-determined cooking as well as a large delegation that kind of takes self-determined woodworking um, and I tend to think that after they've completed those different project series um, that is when you get really outstanding projects uh, because they can truly exhaust everything they've learned about a topic area um, so a couple that have kind of stand out this year um, we have a good woodworking exhibit that is a travel cooler we also have one that is a lighted stand um, um, we have some really cool cooking projects. We have a decorated cake. We have a confectionery project this year. Um, but we really enjoy that kids can truly pick their passion um, and really exhibit whatever they can to kind of show off their abilities. Um, it's always one of the projects that I always think is really cool is the recycle project, reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, and in that they have to use a certain number of items that already exist and compile them into one finished project. Um, this year one that stands out is we have a large dragonfly made out of some fan blades um, but if you look at it it's definitely a piece of art it's always cool to see you know what the kids can come up kids can come up with because um, it's always cooler than what i can come up with um, so it's really nice that we give them and afford them that opportunity to kind of delve into their own project world and develop themselves as a 4-h'er but also develop some of those passions into lifelong projects um, I think that's kind of the beauty of it all. Um, a lot of our 4-H members, as soon as they age out, come back and give back to the program as a 4-H volunteer. Um, even today, as we were doing project check-in, we've had some 22 through 25-year-olds just age out either last year or year before already giving back in the exhibit hall. Um, so it, it, it's a great way for them to get back into the program that gave so much to them.